must talk about one of my least favorite topics, and that is the drought. One of the ways we're going to do this year at the Herb Fest, a main emphasis of the Herb Fest is to teach people about Mediterranean herbs. Why would we teach Mediterranean herbs? Because they don't take a lot of water. There's two theories that go on with herbs and how you create fragrance and flavor. One is if you stress the plant out, because you're stressing the plant out, the plant, such as not having water, it tends to develop a richer, stronger essential oil. That essential oil is always flavor and fragrance. That's where it comes from. So that's one school of thought. The other thing is if you take some of these herbs and you treat them well, like water them regular, make sure there's, they're never in any type of drought situations, the plant tends to intake more water. When it intakes more water, it dilutes the essential oil. And you, I used to be a member of the, uh, or used to be on the board of the International Herb Association, and there was an ongoing debate about what happens when you try to get more flavor and fragrance, should you stress the plant out, or should you try to keep it like in a greenhouse and keep it up and going. And I think the preponderance of the thoughts are that as you stress it out, you give it less water. But the Mediterranean herbs, that's where they evolve from. When you think of Mediterranean herbs, and I'm talking about Greek oregano, I'm talking about some of the basils, I'm talking about your thymes, I'm talking about your oregano. There's a whole plethora of herbs that do extremely well in drought conditions. Plus they smell good. And some of them have flowers on them, so they, there's an attraction to them too. But one of the things we want the people to understand this year is when you come to the Herb Fest, we have a body of plants that do their best under drought conditions. Now this isn't a temporary thing. Many of the plants we sell, most of the plants we sell are perennials, meaning they live year after year after year. So what you're really doing is it's not only for a temporary time putting some plants in that require a little water, hoping that we'll get out of the drought and you won't be in that situation. I hope we do. But if we don't, what you're really doing is you're being eco-conscious by, by the plantings you put in do not require a lot of water. So looking forward, you're going to have perennial herbs, you're going to have other perennials in your landscape that will not require a lot of water. So what I think we're really trying to get across is the Herb Fest this year is very community conscious of the wise use of water and the water resources we have going forward from here on. There is a place where you can go Learn something new and always stop to say hello Walk through the trees, enjoy the scene, watch us grow. So many things to smell.